Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I want to talk about week seven as a new father. Uh, every single week, new developments happen, things change and evolve over time, and time. Time's an interesting thing here because it seems to fly right on by, and there's not enough hours in the day, and there's always a better way you could spend your time as a parent. And you can always look back at what happened and 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 look back and, and feel that you could have done something different or better. And I think that's normal. Uh, we, we tend to look back at our mistakes and um, try to find a better way we could have done things when we have no control over what's done already. All we can do is uh, choose to how we can react to things that happen to us in the moment. And uh, I guess uh, the overall point of today's video is that um, parenting is a hard job. I don't want anyone to get the idea that it's very easy because of the first six videos or the first four, four or five of these weeks of me being a new father and sharing my personal experience with people and also trying to maintain some sort of uh, um, feel of, of, of anonymity uh, and not revealing too much about my own personal situation in these videos, if that makes any sense. So seven weeks as a new father um, is, is, is interesting uh, because I know everyone's going to have a different experience when it comes to being a new father or being new parents with a partner and what it comes down to is you have um, differences of opinion on, on how time ought to be spent for either party sometimes and you have differences of opinion as to what is safe or unsafe you have differences of opinion and feelings about uh, how things ought to be done and and that's normal. From what I understand, that's perfectly normal for new parents to have differences in how they are going to rear the child and bring them up and, um, and handle situations as they come up. And that's perfectly normal. And that uh, postpartum depression is very much a real thing. Um, when someone's been carrying around a child for nine months and after they're born, being there for their every need, 24 hours a day, 25 hours a day, my partner is an amazing mother and she's doing a marvelous job uh, being very attentive and loving and caring and feeding our child and she's doing an amazing job um, and we can have differences of opinion about about what we do with our child as well as what we do with our time and our other endeavors in our lives that um, may not have anything to do with our child and that's normal from what you know from one relationship to another people have differences of opinion um, not just romantic relationships, but uh, business relationships, friendships, and so on and so forth. Um, but it's important to recognize when you have differences of opinion, and it's important to remember uh, when to keep your mouth shut and your ears open and listen, and when it's important to recognize when someone's hurting and when they're saying something when they're hurting and making sure that you understand that when someone says something when they're in a place of pain, it's not necessarily always true if that makes sense. They might be saying something they don't mean when they're upset or in pain. And it's important to keep that in mind and not take things personally when when you're having a discussion or even an argument with, with uh, anyone that you associate with. In my case, um, my partner. And um, so we've had uh, some differences of opinion throughout the past seven weeks with what we're doing with our child. And I think we're, for the most part, fairly... Uh, good at resolving these issues as they come up and sometimes maybe not so much I'm not so good at resolving the issue myself and uh, I, I own up to my mistakes um, and we all do make mistakes so so far I, I don't feel as though um, I don't feel as though well there's a lot of things to sort out coming up in the near future. Thanks very much for watching and listening. I'm drawing a blank right now. I'm not in this video sooner than later. Uh, this video was posted later than anticipated. Um, we just got back from a family camping trip. Uh, I know it's kind of strange for many people to hear that uh, we took our seven-week-year-old daughter camping with us, but we plan on doing a number of different camping trips throughout this summer, uh, some of which are work-related because I'm an entertainer. And, um, and some of them are not work-related, are more for family vacation stuff that we have both done in the past, but now we have a daughter. And it seems as though uh, what we learned after this past camping trip is that there are some challenges that we didn't foresee before getting into it, and that it might not be the best idea for us to go camping. 
uh, for at least this first year while we get adjusted um, to how to go about navigating through being um, um, safe, reliable parents for our child. And thanks very much for watching. I know this is kind of strange video today. I'm trying to uh, speak about being a father and how it's new and, and uh, postpartum depression is a real thing. Please listen to your partners, folks, and um, listen to them and try to keep your your, your ego and your emotions out of it when you're listening to what they have to say. And sometimes when, when you're hearing someone express themselves, it can be interpreted as an attack, a personal attack, or hurt your feelings. And it's important to recognize that that's just how they feel. And it's, it's, it's okay uh, for them to express their feelings and vice versa. It's okay to express your feelings. It's just important to have some foresight about how they might take those feelings and how they might interpret how you're sharing your feelings with them and um, to try to pay attention to the intention behind of what you're trying to communicate as well as what the potential outcome may be when you communicate that intention. I hope that makes sense. Thanks so much for watching. I drew a blank on this one. I feel late on this one. This is actually one whole week late. I've been meaning to post every Sunday and um, I was supposed to post this last Sunday. So now I have another one coming up fairly soon of eight weeks as a new father and I think I might, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep going on of posting as a new father um, but I might go back to uh, doing other posts. I'm not sure what I'm doing with uh, with my life in general, much less with this YouTube channel. But thank you very much for watching, folks. I appreciate it very much. Remember to be the best version of exactly who you are. Uh, you owe it to yourself and you owe it to the world and your friends and your loved ones and, and the people who love you and care about you. Be true to who you are and be the best version of exactly who you are. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll be seeing each other later on down the line if you choose to keep watching me on this crazy uh, YouTube adventure of posting one day a week for this year and every single day for the year of 2021. So you can check out my playlist section, how I organized all my content, and uh, if you're up to that sort of thing, and uh, see if there's something there that's more interesting than me sitting in my van talking about how my um, past camping trip didn't quite turn out the best way. But um, that's me keeping it real, folks. Take good care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.